that became the origin of the famous Society 400. All the people that counted in New York numbered one to 400. Along came the Vanderbilt to Johnny and she did invite Mrs. Astor's daughter, Caroline Astor, because Mrs. Astor had snubbed Mrs. Vanderbilt. Of course, the young Mrs. Astor was heartbroken, so at the last moment, the haughty crowd Mrs. Astor gave in, rode her carriage over to Mrs. Vanderbilt's house, and left her card to Mrs. Vanderbilt then. You too, Mom. No, I don't know. Don't get you. Nobody's Sarnoff dreamed up the name Radio City because he liked it. Why wouldn't he? He advertised his company. So he liked the name because it was the radio age, and uh, that was the big thing. Uh, uh, excellent opera singers, all black, but capable of handling this girl. There were the pipes over. You play with the buttons and everything, and you can make all different sounds come out. You know how I can play it? I'm sitting out there, it sounds like that. You know, today I'm working with the play it. It sounds like uh, pianos, and the other sound it sounds like drums, and bongos, and clarinets, and all that stuff. It's all like you want to assemble it. Well, I work in this real instrument, the ceiling. And he pushes piano. It's a real 10 foot grand piano up there. The ceiling's all this room is playing. It's amazing how. There's another room that's got like walking shoes and violin. Playbacks, <laughs> you name it, even birdies, ding ding. This has a real wooden stage floor. On top of that is this, what we're standing on. This is a slate, a special tap dance. <laughs> they make a noise with the shoes. Okay, uh, you see the turntable right here that you just saw rotating? 42 feet diameter. How are they rotating them separately? You're never going to be anything more than what you're on. Come on, do it some more. Do it some more. It's funny. She breaks it. She takes it. And then he says, Is the boat leaving for New York? Fast. I'll go back to New York. Come on. The boat leaving out there. You see the boat leaving. It's got a great effect. It looks like you really see it. Dock way out on the distance. Oh, you guys are see it. Great. I love it. What was the funnest time you had in the yard? The funnest time? It has to be dramatic. Is it on? Is it going? Okay. <laughs> okay, Sabrina, what did you do that was fun? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I know Sabrina. What was your impression of the Statue of Liberty? Oh, wow. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's big, it's big. I don't want to look into the camera. <laughs> Sabrina, what? I love your sweatshirt. No close ups. Mm -hmm. Okay, Greg, what? Did you have any trouble riding the subway? No. What was the funniest thing that happened to you? What is this, Greg? <laughs> Walking down 42nd Street. This is Greg. What was your impression of 42nd Street? This? I don't know. It's kind of bear. Okay. 42nd Street. Bears and people. 
people or bears? <laughs> no, it's the ones. Not bears and rats. I know. I like you. Well, what do I say? Just tell us about something that happened to you while you were in New York. Fun. Something happened. Something fun. Something fun happened. Tell us about uh, finding your way in the subway. Show us oh, that was interesting. Show us your shirt, Mike. What did you do in, when oh, you tried Mike, to find your way in the subway? Out. Let's get down and show them how we did it. Oh, yeah. Okay. We. This is Ann Bingham and Mike Beatham showing how they found their way in the subway. Subway map. Okay, this is the map. This is our subway map. Come on, Mike. We got down on the dirty subway floor, <laughs> set the map down on the floor, got on our knees, and we're trying to figure out our way. We found the map, and we got on the subway going the wrong way. If we had gone any farther, we would have been in New Jersey. But we, we ended finally up here. Yeah, we ended clear up here, which was one stop from across the thing to New Jersey. So we got off and we got onto another one and went all the way down to 42nd Street. And she was afraid to go down 42nd Street, so we had to take a cab <laughs> to our hotel. Because she didn't want to walk up 42nd Street because she was nervous. And then we had the ride of our life after we went and picked up, what's her name? Lisa. Okay. That was very fun. Thank you. All right, that's good. <laughs> Oh, okay, let's get across the next one. I got Lee. I got Lee. Yeah. Hey, Lee, wave. Let's come on down and talk to the rest of us. <laughs> oh, let's get a picture of the speedy train. Okay, which class next? Right here. You, would, anything you'd like to say about New York City? Uh oh, Barb. Well, you say a few words. I have words. nothing. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm not good at this. Well, anyway, I don't even enjoy this. It's really grand. <laughs> interesting. Very interesting. What else? Huh? Anything else? Yeah. Alright. It was my third time and my family's first time. Oh, really? So I'd been there before a couple of times. Did you see anything new? Well, let's see. No, I saw, yeah, I saw a lot of new things. The first time I'd ever ridden the, uh, uh the Oh, really? Yeah. Huh. What, what did you see, Mark? That's it. That exciting. Huh? Nothing. <laughs> you, you love that show, like. What did you think about the big city? Amy. <laughs> I don't know what to say. What? You told me. What? What did you say? Oh. Um, <laughs> this reminds me of that. <laughs> Japan? Yeah. How are you doing? Yeah, How about I you? Know. Yeah, I miss I miss my town because my town was so big. I don't know. And in the subway, I found a very, very handsome old man. The men were handsome? Yeah. Like, um, looks like um, Paul Newman. Oh, Paul Newman. Uh, yeah. Wow. You know, so <laughs> Universal Studios was waiting to pick That's up. That's right. Was waiting oh. to pick up um, 
Dr. Zivago, is that right? My son. He was waiting to pick him up at the restaurant next door to our hotel. And he let us get in the limousine and wait for... But he waited till 12. We never got to see the guys. What did the limousine look like? It was excellent. It didn't have a bar or anything. Thank you. It was just the Great. Really nice. That was so much fun yes. in it. We wanted everybody to see it. And our hotel was right around the corner from the Pussycat Club. <laughs> Yes, all that excitement we had in New York. But us girls kept the guys in line. <laughs> That's right. Good yeah. morning, okay, yeah. We won't let them misbehave. Um, <laughs> it was a pansy the whole time. Everything in New York was really exciting. It was really good. I was, I, it was really good. I really liked it. it neat. My okay. New York roomie. <laughs> yes, and the only thing I didn't like was my feet. My feet got really super sore, and I had blisters on my feet. So I had to buy her a cat. Uh, other than that, everything just was really great. Peachy. It was just peachy. I, I noticed there was a lot of really different people there. Yes. <laughs> Very different, yes. Okay, really let's different. go on. Yeah, Like to do it again. Sharon Smart, what's your best adventure? Well, 
My favorite part was the food and the subways, eating at Mama Leone's. But our most exciting thing was when we, Mrs. Bingham, Dave, and Scott and I got off the subway and walked up the Bowery Street and headed into the Lower East Side and that was fine and everything. And the next day we went on our guided bus tour and the driver told us we, when we were driving down Bow Bowery Street that that was the skid row of New York and we had just walked through there the, the day before and didn't know it. <laughs> How about you, Nancy? My most confusing time was getting ready for the trip. I was in a parent conference at 10 o'clock on Friday morning, and after that conference, I found out I was going to be going to New York and Washington, D.C., and have less than 20 hours to get ready every night. And 10 o'clock the next morning, we were flying over South Dakota. Oh, great. I was not planning on that. Great. Who are you talking to? Either one of you. Who would like to comment? First. She's the biggest buffer and the best talker. Okay. I was impressed by the way that people appeared to me. They, they were busy and they didn't want to be bothered too much, but they still appeared like they were kind and would, uh, would uh, help and be watchful a little bit. Enjoyed the American uh, Museum of Art. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> Paintings by Monet impressed me the greatest. And beautiful St. Patrick's uh, Chapel, the woodwork in it. I'm done. Okay. <laughs> Is this I do have a name. Quiet town in Idaho. I've never been anywhere in my life. I got to go to the Big Apple. I got to go to New York. It was wonderful. Big buildings, colored lights, everything. And everything changes. The, the street scenes, the people come out in the morning, it's different at night. And, you know, I, I, I think maybe I ate the bun met too many babies. But, you know, um, everything changes there. I think I changed too. <laughs> Yeah, 
I think they're fun. Like carnival ride. They don't like whatever makes out. No, that wasn't bad at all. I liked it. The thing that I didn't like though was all the little dirty pictures they have on the street. Yeah, we were at 49th Street. It's so forward. Well known. It's so forward, you know. More than brother and They come up, you, you want your order taken, they say, next, next, hey, what do you want? Um, give me a cheeseburger and a large... What do you want on it? <laughs> I said cheeseburger. Cheese, you want cheese? <laughs> yes, so speak up, I can't hear you. <laughs> cheeseburger, small coke, large fry. What? <laughs> That'll be seven bucks. Seven, seven, it's four. Four dollars and forty-five cents. <laughs> and then no, most fun, most fun was walking to the automat and swimming back, backstroke, backstroke. Yeah, thanks to our drama teacher, drama Pat teacher. Macy, who should be fired for this. <laughs> That's all I have. What kind of people did you meet there, Scott? Hey, you yeah. know the nice restaurant. Scott, right? you guys. What kind of people did you meet there? to go to an automat and Miss Macy said that we should go to because it was on our list of things to do in New York and so we walked for 45 minutes in the rain and there was no automat because it was closed so we had to walk all the way back up to this hotel to get a taxi cab which took us very dangerously to our hotel where some of the people didn't get back for another 20 minutes because the hotel person didn't want them to come back and that was a very fun experience. Okay, we went uh, on this George, really neat buggy right. ride. This guy took us on a buggy ride. It was so neat. And we went around Rockefeller Square and Lee dropped a five dollar bill. Well, <laughs> Just so we had away. to ask the man to go all the way around the block again so they could get his five dollar bill. And well, then we decided to give the man the five dollar bill and... For the tip. But Lee didn't really like that idea <laughs> then. We did money. it anyway. <laughs> since it was yeah, Lee's money. Lee's five dollars. He was very nice. He had a horse named Sam. 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 His name was Sam, too. His, no, his name him, was Al. We told him to come live in Idaho. And yeah. Yeah. Shop a horse. I like it. Shop a horse. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I loved it. That was great. I wanted that Seymour. big monster. Seymour. Oh, come on, Seymour. Feed me. <laughs> it, was, it was great. Hey, the camera's surprised. It's sort of like a little balloon today. We lost three kids in Chinatown as I rushed through all those subways and Hamwood. Anyway. Okay. Okay, your experience in Macy's. Okay, okay. We went up to the department store, oh, right? Over there, guys. I went through all these things and we picked out three just awesome dresses. Oh, really neat. Expensive, right? too. I mean, who can afford them? I went to the dressing room and I tried them all on. And we took pictures of them all and everything. We modeled them and everything. It was great. I mean, and then we went downstairs to this mannequin. There was a human mannequin guy. And he was standing there. And we go, well, come on, let's get a picture taken with him. And I thought, well, no, maybe we better not. And so, you know, and he was standing there. And he was this with his finger. So we went up and we got the picture taken with him and everything. Yes. He blew us a kiss. Yeah. We left the water as a kiss. He blew us. He blew us. And of course, we had to give him an Idaho pin to remember us by.
good his eyes moved, you know, and he started spraying people when they walked by because no one could really tell. He was so good that no one knew. Yeah. And he started spraying people when they went by and he goes, oh, red! So anyway, then we wanted a picture with him, and so I wanted to go there, and I go, no, right? And he goes, he goes, he turns to me, and he goes, and it was so cute because he got all over there, and then we gave him now and kiss him, and then we got pictures with him. We got pictures with him and everything, and, and everything. <laughs> The Empire State and World Trade Center was the Statue of Liberty is pretty nice. Um, things we did that Miss Macy never knew about was nice. <laughs> that was the best part. <laughs> um, like what, George? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> the greatest thing that I thought about New York was that the whole entire place was like a Neil Simon comedy. <laughs> there was this little old lady and she was down on the street in uh -oh. Greenwich Village <laughs> and she was screaming up about six stories of a tenement building to her little friend and she was going, Darling, I don't know where Harry is. I can't find him anywhere. He's, he's down the street somewhere. And then her friend would yell down to her and then they couldn't find Harry and so then she went down the street calling for Harry. Harry, Harry, where are you? Where are you? I just hey, love the people. And I love seeing all the places that I'd heard about before. And Park Hotel, the Plaza Hotel was fantastic. And I love Central Park. And everybody's been very good children. Except I've only had to beat them at least once a day with a ruler. Maybe in Washington it'll be twice a day. Did you go up into the Statue of Liberty? I didn't go up in the Statue of Liberty because my foot hurt because we had Speedy Gonzalez for a guide and we had to run all over the city. But I stood down and, and watched from below. And let's see, I love looking at the Manhattan skyline, Scott. And oh, I love the shows we saw. We saw five shows, so four shows. And each one of them was completely different from the other, and I, I loved the whole thing. Excuse me. I want to go by. What was your best one? I want to go by. My best one? Yeah. Excuse me. Oh, I think Excuse the me. one that I probably I'm enjoyed the most was so the Little Shop of Horrors. Uh, because it was so bizarre, and the, we saw this plant, this man-eating plant that devoured uh, people, and it was just really great. And that's it. Thank you. Oh, and nobody got their first snatch. That was great. Manel did not even have to clip it with handcuffs to her. She I don't even know this one. Oh, uh, yeah? Yeah. There is a French restaurant. Oh, is there? Do they have the Spaghetti? Yeah, the French bread. Yeah, we French bread. Yeah, Mine was excellent. Mine was served with French Baltimore, Maryland. Now, this, now they're going to talk funny different again down here. And then you have a little bit of 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 a little like in, in all of the arts. I think that a person that's in the wrong, uh, they can't be into music or singing, or they can be into the harmony, but anything, you know, you know what I would love, I would love, you wouldn't take four lines. I wouldn't take four lines sometimes when you're in that. You pick a page that I am. John Terrace, uh, Gene Terrace, we uh, would all teach in a fine arts. Uh, uh, that's what Portland and I should have. We can never see them. If we can offer drama, we can offer music, we can have art, all. So between us, we can have a fine arts department. Will you come and visit me?
Kitty Hawk. Right there. Where? It's up here. Space, right there. Space. 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 Hello, Rick. <laughs> You'll see it. <laughs> hey. 
Play your piano for us. Da 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 da. You play. Yeah. Hey, turn it off. <laughs> hey. Hey, I didn't want to be on. When five um, Marines and one sailor uh, went to the top of Mount Sorobachi and uh, they took a pipe and they put a flag to the top of it and erected the flag to the top. Eventually the Americans did win this battle. The photograph was then uh, published in the United States. It won a Pulitzer Prize for the photographer. A soldier who happened to have been there was also a sculptor <coughs> and he saw the photograph and he, he thought that this would make a good memorial to the Marine Corps. He, his name was uh, Felix Dwel Dwelden and he sculpted this, <coughs> this particular memorial. It is of bronze. It was casted in New York. I believe it's 180 pieces and then they brought it here on five trucks and assembled it at this site. In circle 22, it is modeled after the Parthenon in Rome. Uh, the Parthenon was used as a model because people thought that this would be a fitting temple for our, one of our greatest presidents. The head of Tuskegee Institute, which is a black university in Mississippi, was asked to speak here. When he came here, though, the, uh, the guards made him go sit in the colored section, although he was the main speaker at the, uh, uh, for the evening. Uh, it kind of represents that although Lincoln believed in malice toward none, it still existed in 1922 when the memorial was dedicated.
It's a very beautiful structure, and if you look on our church services like Sunday school and so forth, but it is rather, it is used for very holy and sacred ordinances are performed there. Uh, uh, Half the time I can't figure out if somebody's in the back of me or in front of me. I, I see <laughs> them. Well, they walk in front of me. Uh-huh. Wanna say something? Wow! <laughs> Cross and built the other side where the other circle window is that is for the House of Representatives. In 1814, the same year that the White House was burned, the Capitol was also burned. Um, after that, a man named Benjamin Latrobe came in and as the architect of the Capitol, he uh, redid the Capitol um, and rebuilt the Senate side and the House side and part of the center. Um, the dome itself was not completed until 1865. Is that why there's a, a clear difference of color? Or is that just two different things wrong? Uh, I'll tell you. Just a second. <laughs> uh, as you notice, uh, I probably told you that the Lincoln Memorial and the Jefferson statue, both are 19 feet high. No statue in Washington can be higher than 19 and a half feet high. No building in Washington can go higher than freedom. States. They all have little stars on their heads. The height of the rotunda is 180 feet from here to the very top. If you move down a little bit, you see the circular. Yes. I hold up the works by going home to school again. What is it? What is it? 
It is the um Walk in space, There is the uh, vice president chair or the president for the pen right there in the center. The portrait of George Washington is an original and was in this room. Most of the rest of the furniture in this room is reproductions, and I'm right on this one. This is mostly reproduction. Uh, right behind you are two Ben Franklin stoves. That's how uh, the room was heated. I don't know. I have no idea where the best one is. Let's go and ask her. They're over there. Let's ask her. If it's going to be right here, you can sit right in front of this building. Are they a certain religion or something? They're Jewish. They're Jewish. They're Jewish. Jewish don't do that, do they? Some do. I've never heard of that. Do they do their ears like that? Their hair? Well, I think they do. I read Chaim Potok and um, books by him. Maybe the real traditional. Huh? Yeah, the real Orthodox. Orthodox is real Jews. Yeah, they do. I didn't know the girls did though, huh. but I know the guys did. Like um, the movie, well, the book that chose for the movie, yeah, they had the girls of a certain age because the little girls. I film you, Bill. Are we going to be coming back out here to meet the bus? Uh, uh, yeah, right across I the think way. Why don't you stay there? Yeah, she, her laser. Her okay. next uh, My mom. Uh, How old is your mom? She's 65. She's 64. Oh, yeah. uh, uh -uh. No, she doesn't. But her knees are. She's got a little bit of arthritis in her knees and climbing the stairs. <laughs> Right, just as you go into your right. And they also have them upstairs. I hope I get to go to Europe with you guys. Oh, I want to go again. I loved it. This is my press agent here on the left. Yes. How about, how about if I'm your... You can be my secretary. Take okay. notes. Tell me when you see somebody important or famous. <laughs> well, there's Sabrina, the next world's greatest beautiful model. Oh, the next that? number 10, Bo Derek. <laughs> <laughs> You know, in Europe, I started to count how many stairs I climbed, and they gave that after about a thousand. <laughs> yeah, her head's going to be too big. Out, that's tiles or something. It's a mosaic. Oh, yeah. oh wow. Everything around it's not even painted. It's really fancy. Isn't this lovely? This is just 
What is it? Prentice from Herder and Ives, early American lithographic company. Also related to my wife's great 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 grandfather, John Curry, and her family. Nice. Oh, look at those ceilings. Oh, Mr. Olin. I'm not going to say a thing. I'm not going to say anything anti-historical after, especially after my documentation on the on the Amtrak about New York City. That is the house where Lincoln died. Of what? Of a gunshot wound. To the head. George Theater, which is on your extreme right. Behind extreme. That's so so extreme. It's behind you. gentlemen, this is an extensive presentation of students from Coeur d'Alene Senior High School on their educational, historical trip, hysterical trip, as they pass through Virginia, taking in all the sights, a panoramic view from side to side of the bus, not missing a thing. Historically, it's wonderful, it's lovely. And now, on with our adventure. It's a wonderful trip as you're on, passing through one of the <laughs> most exciting southern states. It's great. We're not tired at all. They're not tired Wide at all. Wide awake. No problem. Where's the tip pigs? <laughs> yeah. They really are enjoying this immensely. Now we're going to step back as we move back. Oh, would you please make a comment for the microphone here? Uh, what are you looking at out there so intently? I, I see that you're looking at, out the window. Uh, are you really enjoying this trip this morning? Yes, very much. Are you speaking for yourself or for both? Would you like to make a comment here? Huh? Oh, well, okay. Moving on. You can see that they were really extremely excited. But here we have a person who's, oh, she's so exuberant and she's just, oh, heavens. Would you like to say something about the trip? Go away, I'm tired. Not nearly enough sleep. Oh, you are. I got though, and all that stuff. 
Oh, how embarrassing. <laughs> Here we have two lovely ladies that are extensively reading their travel folders going... Oh, what a grouch. This is obviously a case of someone that can't, does not know how to travel. Uh, you know. What is, what, we say this is April Fool's morning? Oh, oh nice. Oh. Notice the fashion. Notice the attire. They're so lovely dressed. We have found that all of the students on this trip really are dressed for the occasion. Uh, would either one of you like to comment on passing through Virginia or what else? What is the question? <laughs> well, are you ready to move on? Okay. Would you like oh look, he's tuned in. Tuned out. What are you uh what are you doing here? Are you enjoying the trip? What? What? Yes. Great. Yes. No. Here's Mike Pizza with his dribble glass or his he went to the magic shop in the shopping mall and he's got some squeeze squirt disappearing ink. Let me see if it'll work. Now this light in the trip. All over me somehow. He's still here. It didn't work. Darn. Foiled again. Would you how would you like to say something about our vacation? This is where the action is, folks, in the back of the bus. Here we have three swingers back here. Oh, look, here they are. Mike, want to make any comments about the trip? I want candy. <laughs> <laughs> and now, wait a minute, we've got to check this out. Come on, I think there's someone in here. Anyone in here? Oh, no, no, the tiny bowl man. Oh, okay. Oh, look at this. Match, mix and match. They both have sunglasses. Where did you pick your sunglasses up? There's Macy. Totally awesome. A picture of her. A boat team? No, never mind. Sweet vendor, yeah. This is the fashion set here that we have. There were a couple of slobs when they hit Washington. And you can see what, what the trip culturally has done for them. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Here we have a couple of cultural uh, themes. You can tell that they're excited about the trip. Uh, Dave and uh, Scott. Uh, moving their way through Virginia. How about a couple of comments, boys? Yeah, what are you doing now? <laughs> <laughs> what? I, I was having fun sleeping. Look at that. Isn't there a lovely view? Look at that mountain there. Feels beautiful. Isn't that gorgeous? What do you like about Virginia? Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. You guys, I was oh, where did you sleep? Oh, sorry about that. Do you like Virginia? Yeah. Oh, great. Bye. See you. This is Noriko Yuchida. Noriko would like to make a couple of comments about the trip. Noriko, where are you? We know you're under there somewhere. Can't you say something about the trip? Are you ticklish? Are you? Oh, she is. She's ticklish. And here's Jan. Jan, what's happening? Why is there someone sitting here with you? Are you any social? Good morning, Jan. Yes. I have the Good night. Are you sure Virginia looks like I don't know? We'll take these shots for uh, the family back home. We're interviewing people on the bus. Would you like to say something? Did you have a wild night last night? I like how you get up just before you go on. George, I know, wants to say a couple of words. Oh, look. Good morning, George. George. No comments, George? I've been rooming with him. He's hard to get, a hard boy to get up. Well, how about you? Nothing? Nothing at all? Okay, we'll move on on here. Yeah, we're talking about the car business. Isn't that crazy? It's too she hey, woke I up. Awake. Give her a chance to be on film and she wakes up. <laughs> it's Virginia Dare. And she is related to the famous Dare family of Virginia. And uh, if you travel down south, you can go and see her home site. Uh, 
they put on a pageant there every year in her honor. The Indians come out and they uh, have some popcorn and uh, do a couple of dances. And, and they do the whole thing, and it's a uh, wonderful thing. Well, and it's certainly wonderful to be back here in my oh, home state. I know, again. and I think it's just wonderful. That historically, we from start to finish, as we go through this crowd, you can see the interest and the excitement on this tour. It's just wonderful to see that kind the of enthusiasm. Oh, the, the, the educational oh. opportunity and all of that. Is right. Here are some all writing in their journals. Yeah, uh, that's right. <laughs> Hey, 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 no, 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 hey. Where's that was up early this morning? Who? He beat the roosters up. What? Oh, we got you. Yeah, we did there. Oh, thank you. Come here. Ray, Ray, Tay, and Hog used to sell. You know how I shut up. Look at my dog. What did you get on, Mike? That was me. It looks like ink. It is. Oh, oh no. I hope that's not the disappearing no. ink. I'm gonna turn invisible. <laughs> that was the oh, idea, Lil. Gee, thanks. <laughs> you be a little hard. <laughs> At the Kennedy Pavilion, we had on stage Mr. George Baxter and <laughs> part of a great, fantastic audience member at Showboat. Yeah. Volunteered to have a big bash after everybody gets their films developed, and it's going to the theme is going to be 42nd Street, and everybody has to come as one of the characters that you saw on this trip uh, in oh, New York, no. and and we're going to exchange photos and do all that. So that's that's uh, Anne's going to have it in her house, okay. and that's where you will be. Dave coming as a pimp. Uh, Dave will be coming as a pimp, and Teresa will be coming as a hooker. Oh, uh, Teresa. Yeah. <laughs> And, uh, no way! And Scott and, and Mike will be coming <laughs> as a gay. No, I'm gonna come no, no, not again. <laughs> By himself, and that's he's got a real double trouble. <laughs> I'm, as a I'm coming as a bag lady. I'm coming as a bag lady. So am I. <laughs> bag man. A bag lady. Oh, George, what are you coming as? George, dear, wake up. George is coming as our local mom. I'm gonna get bottled urine smell. Yeah. Mr. Scott Stillman in his favorite position. Every moment of the trip, you can find him comfortably seated in the comfort station. Scott, do you have a word of advice to us? Leave me alone. Trail. And here's your position. The other side of him. Asleep. The other side. This is the better half of George in the morning. George is known for his rowdy evenings of watching the David Letterman show till 4 a.m. George is the first one to bed, but he loves to sleep continually. He's really enjoyed this trip and seen quite a bit of the countryside. Now, where's from George? George! Would you please make a comment for us? I'll get up in a minute, Mom. Your what? Just get up in a minute, Mom. The invisible ink that might Oh, wow! Well, it's April Fool's Day. So maybe later on the day she will appreciate it. Where's she at? She'll go. You a wild Virginia Indian. Oh, it's Arkansas. Oh, an Arkansas, Arkansas Indian. Arkansas Cherokee. Oh, okay. the, oh not the Cherokee. Oh, those, those Arkansas Cherokees are the worst kind. Yeah. They used to call us breeds. <laughs> breeds. Half breeds. And yeah, half breeds. <laughs> How about 30 second breeds? <laughs> what is your name, sir? Chief. Cherokee Bill. <laughs> Did your tribe have any pottery or any other cultural artifacts? Pottery? No, we didn't work. <laughs> oh, didn't work. We had oil wells. Oh, oil wells. <laughs> and you know, that, they are the original Wahoo tribe. <laughs> Wahoo. Those Indian pictures Chief, Chief Rain in the face. <laughs> That's where all that comes from. All those half We certainly hope, Chief, that you will not inflict any of your rain upon us today. <laughs> No, no, today we have sent up a smoke signal for clear skies. Well, that's good. I hope so. Except for the smoke that he caused. Well, the, the smoke and pollution from your oil well, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd you go? The seems to have reversed itself. Amazing.
Yes. Are you some strange... Uh, Thank you, Harry. 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 Thank you,
Attention, please. The ceremony you're about to witness is an army wreath laying ceremony to be conducted by Coeur d'Alene High School from Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. It is requested that everyone remain silent and standing during this ceremony. All military personnel in uniform should render the hand salute on the command of present arms. Thank you.
Now are you are you visiting here right now? No, I live here. You live here. Okay. Well, we. <laughs> what are you doing, taking a visit? You are on TV. On oh, uh, television. What are you? Uh, Where are you from? We're from Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. Yes. Okay. My husband's from Montana. Oh, really? So yeah, Billings. Billings. Well, what's his name? Maybe someone will know it back there. Charles Shively. Great. Is this? My sister-in-law. Your sister-in-law. And they're visiting. And they're, well... They're from Alabama, or from, they just came here from uh, Texas. I see. Texas well, via Norfolk, well, really, via miss. U.S. Air Force. Really, if you look right over behind that tree, Mr. Alan Funt. This yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alan? Yes, tell Alan to come out. Alan. Alan. Hey. That's quite a sound. Alan, I'm sick of you around Washington again. Okay. Yeah. You're in Virginia, actually. This yeah. is my home right here. Okay, well, all right. Thanks for the sweet interview. And hey, ladies, you come here a minute. <laughs> We'd like to ask you a few questions. Yeah? Uh, have you ever heard of Barney's Bagel from Baghdad? No. Well, would you like to hear more? No. Well, just the same. Well, are you twins? No. <laughs> Sisters. Recosting man on the street interview right here. I'd like to uh, ask this guy, how are you enjoying the cemetery here? It's wonderful. Well, thank you. <laughs> it's beautiful here, right? Are you from around here? No, Boston. Well, congrats. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. How are you doing today? How are you doing? Hi. National Cemetery. Live interviews. Uh, we'd like that. Find out how many people can spell. Chicago O'Hare Airport, we're about to interview Captain James A. Cook. Ja Captain Cook, can we have a moment of your time? Yes, uh, we are going to be bypassing Spokane and heading directly to Honolulu. Other than that, the flight should be smooth. Um, what kind of aircraft are we flying in today? Uh, I have to check my schedule. I heard it's a prop job. <laughs> <laughs> I do not know. You do not know. He's the pilot and he does not know. Do you have a... Are these plastic wings you got on here? No, they're bronze. <laughs> Actually, he's in airline training right now. Do, do you know how to... Oh, you don't have your certificate. Not yet. But yet you're going to be flying and risking thousands of lives just to learn how to fly. Every minute. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, well thank you. live here at uh, 
Chicago O'Hare. It's uh, Scott Stellman reporting. Live here at Chicago O'Hare. Um, we're interviewing people on the street, man, on the street interviews. Uh, oh, there's a likely suspect. Uh, follow me. Man on the street interviews. Excuse me, a miss and uh, sir. Yeah. Have you ever heard of Barney's Bagels of Bagdash? Yes, sir. We go there all the time. Every day, never miss it. Barney's I'm like Coke guy. Personal friend of mine. Good guy. Hey, give him some business. I'll give you what you need. Isn't that right? So, how are you enjoying your flight? Flight? Flight. What a trip, man. It's, it's great. <laughs> Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> Let's uh, move the camera on over here. Sweep it to the right. Thank you very much. <laughs> Who's this? Excuse me. Oh. Miss? Yep. Are you trying? Yes. Miss? Yes. <laughs> Don't touch her there. <laughs> yes, may I help you? Um, <laughs> Can't you see? She's intimidating. Would the, would the cameraman, would the cameraman like to ask a few questions? I uh, miss, the red light. do you sit in this seat often? Are you a bag lady here regularly at this airport? Are you a bag lady? You scrounge to the telephones at night. Looking. Oh, she's a bag lady. Look, she's trying to hide okay. the bag. Okay, let's, let's trying cut to hide the, the bag. These people are just beginning at a young age. It's a shame to waste a good life in an airport as a bag lady. The O'Hare Airport on Saturday night. Oh, oh here's a person right here that uh, is half black and half Chinese that we are going to interview right now. Half black and half Chinese, right? Well, thank you for those uh, marvelous comments. Uh, thank you. Uh, uh, thank you very much. Sisters? Hey, can I have your autograph? This guy has never heard of Idaho. Uh, are you are you leaving the airport or picking someone up or just a stop? Uh, where are you headed for? Uh, Iowa. Well, that's almost like Idaho. You don't know what Idaho is? I know. What, what, what's your feelings towards Idaho? I okay. Okay, this, this is this is uh, Rick Acosta, the Naked Chicken Man. Thank you very much at live at Chicago O'Hare Airport. Thank you. Turn the camera off. Hey, hey, come on. Hey, hey, hey turn, hey, turn it off. Hey, 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 turn the camera off. Hey, man. Hey, man. What? Is it? Hey. Hey man, what are you, I ain't. Hey, what are you doing, man? Hey, don't don't follow me. Hey, I said. Hey. Hey man, what you just get some more Hey. Hey, turn it off. Hey. Hey man, turn that off, man. <laughs> If you're reading this as carefully as people read U.S. news, you'll probably miss your plan. We give you the green, not the skin. Talk to my, talk to my family. Come on, man. Hey.
this? Hey, what's going on? Uh, you guys with the NBC? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> Are you with NBC? I wonder where that guy went that was bugging me a while ago. Where are you? We'll get him. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Look! <laughs> You're on camera! Look at the camera! Show us your face! So we can yeah, yeah, back yeah, yeah, look at this. <laughs> Did you get this for a present? We're live at Chicago Air Airport. Airport. <laughs> <laughs> Rolling three. <laughs> oh well, hey, tell us a few words. Have you ever been to Idaho? Have <laughs> one heck of a good holiday. <laughs> Have you ever been to Washington? <laughs> Washington State? Yes, it's in Spokane. Sure, as in Spokane. Are you going there tonight? No, we just got back from Phoenix. So oh, too bad. Going home and chop up a ham for the next. I don't think you're funny. Yes. All the way. But, uh, more light on the subject. Yeah, it helps. Notice how relaxed the One may travel for 240 miles in the subway. It's already 75 cents. There's a subway entrance. It's all right here. All Broadway theaters, left and right. Sidewalk cafes, left and right. Now, we'll be going across Bleecker Street, a predominantly Italian shopping district. Cannolis and sausages and boutiques and antiques, antique toys for adults, and lines made for children to play with on Bleecker Street. And the butcher shop, they usually have fresh uh, killed sheep and um, rabbits and suckling pigs. The second child at 2 hour left, antique toys for adults with the green awning. The second child at 2 hour left, right here. Fresh baked Italian breads, 2 hour left, and pasta, 2 hour right. Two Italian pastry shops, 2 hour left, and a supermarket for dogs and cats called the Beastie Feast, coming up 2 hour left. They have sales for dogs, sales for cats, and sales for monkeys at the Beastie Feast to our left here. Fresh pasta every day at Tutas across the street to our right. Now everybody can see the Empire State Building, several miles a rubber King Kong up there, and it didn't work. He got a seven foot gash in his head. Town Playhouse on McDougal Street. Cappuccino, espresso, left and right. For the past 23 years, they've been playing the Fantastics at the Sullivan Street Playhouse in Sullivan Street. 23 consecutive years. The little theater only holds 100 people. If you look on the side street to your right, you see the Fantastics playing there for 23 years to our right here. The building straight ahead where the trees are are owned by New York University, their apartments. The three coming up to our right were designed by I.M. Petty. Pablo Picasso did a sculpture of one of his mistresses years ago. He's blown up the three stories of concrete called Sylviette. She brought him two children. She wrote a book about their 11 years living together. She's married to Dr. Salk of the Salk vaccine. This is La Jolla, California, in France. There's a little garden here. That's a garden club to your right here. A garden club. Each got a little plot of land to grow what they want to grow. Better than nothing. Sylviette, too, from Iowa, was an alcoholic 30 years ago. Mercedes for Cambridge, the actress, Robert Young, the actor, Wilbur Mills from Arkansas, Betty Ford, Joan Kennedy, Billy Carter, William Holden. Once an alcoholic, always an alcoholic, which means they can never have one drink. The Holy Name Center, to your right, they put the men up. They have the AA meetings here twice a week, Mondays and Fridays, for all ages, races, creeds, nationalities. Now, straight ahead of the, 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 um, the, Red, the orange brick building, that's the Palace Hotel, the Palace Hotel. And now, um, that's where Punk started. Uh, behind that truck is uh, a little uh, club. And uh, CBGB, Country Bluegrass Blues, and that's where Punk started. And now a half mile, 10 blocks of restaurant equipment at the head of the Bowery to our left, Cooper Union College. They 
specialize in teaching science on country, blue, grass, blues. Now they, the men, they wait for a red light and have rags to clean windshields to earn funds for wine. And it doesn't take them long to conk out with this heat. The Salvation Army to our left, they put the men up. They have the AA meetings there also. Now shortly, we'll be in Chinatown. We're going to take a walking tour through Chinatown. It's really ten chandeliers. Now here's something you don't expect. Manhattan, straight ahead, St. Paul's Chapel, George Washington's Church. It's a copy of St. Martin's in the Field, Trafalgar Square in London. That's the back of it. You'll notice the windows are not transparent. They're translucent, all handmade. That was uh, built in 1764. 1764. The little church you see there to the left. To control traffic and crowds, chapel. This is the back of it. George Washington's church. The American Telephone and Telegraph Company, AT&T stock, the home office, to your right. On the next corner to your right, up, 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 the World Trade Center, 110 stories high, all the way up to your right here, all the way up, 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 up. Oh up here, the uh, Midland Bank. Yeah. The World Trade now, yeah. <coughs> <coughs> Two blocks to our left, the black and white sculpture done by Jean Dubois, buried in that graveyard. <coughs> This is Wall Street to our left, the cash register of the nation, Wall Street left. For Manhattan Island from the Indians in 1626 for $24 a trinket a barrel of rum. The 
the opposite side of Bowling Green at the United States Custom House, built on Fort Amsterdam. The four statues represent Fort
one by one we started tearing them down and replacing them with the high rises that you see around here. These are seven hundred thousand dollars condominiums that you see here. Rent alone. Is that plastic? Now this is Spanish Harlem everyone. This is a Puerto Rican part of town. We have 700,000 Puerto Ricans in New York, more than there are in San Juan in Puerto Rico. But, yeah, they closed off certain streets around, uh, in the city so that children could come out for recess and lunch hour, that kind of thing. It's called a play street. Unfortunately, they're not rumbling very much these days. It's a recreation area. Unfortunately, she's drooling on her sweater. 
But that's alright. It is washable. <laughs> for New York. Go. Faithfully throughout this whole trip, she has been diligently studying the script for January, out of January 16th. What did Reagan say to that? She's ready for Broadway. Patrons of the art. Objection, Your Honor. This is hearsay and not a mystery. Overruled. Exception. Do you recall the rest of the conversation? You ever heard of that? Yeah. I don't know. William and Mary. What the? How? Yeah, I know. That's what I thought it was. Yeah, that's what I, I know that I was going to say, which which one of the first two or three was this? Look at this. Pat, look at this. Okay, we're now in the city of Williamsburg. To your right is the College of William and Mary. To your left, if you look straight down, that is Williamsburg, the Colonial Park, where you'll be going later this afternoon. Tell them that's the oldest college in the United States.
roses. Focus on the rose, Patricia. Two roses here. These rose and Peggy's rose. Just like them when you first came. <laughs> Indeed, they should, sir. Are you going to be the first to start? <laughs> Did you bring your uh, camera? I mean, your. Uh... What's with you, sir? Uh, I, never, I never refuse anything for nothing, right? Oh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, what's it? You open your own studio, yeah? No. I'm going to start working on you. Good business. <laughs> How about if I let you just make this hard take off? Yeah. Thank you. You do all the hard work, eh? Right, and all the carrying. <laughs> we can probably get one of that other one when we come out. Let's see those other ones up there. Is it still on? In the gate up there, yeah. I can Get out! 
side please move to one side please Well, your finger back with it. 
Yeah. On this lever? Yeah. Pull it towards the right, I think. Way out then, huh? Yeah, I'll get a better picture. You do? When it's zoomed way out, you mean? I can't hear you. Yeah. I got see I got it's a bad deal. I, I don't know why I got so much of the hood here. I'm just taking it way. You got all that junk in that. Probably. No, I'm taking it way down to here. I can see my hand right here. Okay? Well, then zoom it in a little bit closer. Don't pull it back so far. Telephoto it a little bit more. Here, push it that way. What's that mean? It means you're filming. You're also being heard. Filming. Right. Any signs around? We can, but it's these little narrow roads. 
doing? Get you up there where those people can get you in bed and get feed you liquids and give you aspirin and stuff that'll help you to knock it. That's the only way you're going to knock it. Just be down. You might have to stay down in bed all day tomorrow or something until you know you shake it. It's just cold, but you can, you can shake it here. Let's put it in that. Uh, well, move that, and I'll get in it. Oh, I thought you were going to. I don't see anybody to ask. Well. Well, can't, there must be a hotel or something. Road. What does he live on or she live on? Or? It's just a honey to bounty, somebody here. through the town of St. Ives. I met a man from seven, from St. Ives who had seven wives, seven horses, seven kids, so forth and so forth and so on. It's an old English poem. Sound isn't on, is it? Yes, it is. It is. Yes. We don't want all that well, sound. Well, we'll have to edit it out later. I Right here. Okay. 
Well, I'm not going to take this picture there. Well, we will. We'll, I'll see if he's here, and if he's here, we'll get out and take his picture. Mm -hmm. What is your name? M-O-W-E-R, Hazel. Hazel? Hazel Moore, M-O-W-E-R, Oh, Moore, <laughs> that is a nice British name. And such a pretty lady, and only 96 years old. Four more years and you'll be a hundred. Good. 
should be coming to Barton here. Barton on the Humber. Just a minute or two. Well, we're still coming into Barton. Should be down the bottom of this hill somewhere. Sure is pretty country. Turn off B1206. This is A1077. Here is a real pretty sight. That's the Humber River that you see down through the trees. I'm going to zoom in a little bit on this thing here and pull it out a little bit for you. Here's the road that goes down to the Barton on Humber. River Bridge. You can see one tower through the fog, I hope. And uh, you can see the other tower. I'll try to zoom it in a little bit for you. That's the tower of the bridge. And you can't quite see it, but the Town of Barton on the Humber lies just down in there. You can see some of the buildings and a little steam coming up. Okay, so we'll just proceed on down to Barton on Humber. Well, here we are. This is Camden Street, where my father lived. And we're going to photograph the little store and look down the street. They sell cat meat in here. Hello there. Hello. How are you this morning? How much is that too? Fish down there then. <coughs> well. How many like our saw then? <laughs> Fine. <laughs> you got rusty yet? Yeah? <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Patricia, this is the home of uh, my father where he lived as a young man, 65 Camden Street, I guess about uh, how many years ago? About 78 years ago when he left here as a young man. And this is the home. I'll go over and knock on the door. Yeah. <laughs> 
post there, I wouldn't take that. Saturday morning in Hull. We're not far from Camden Street here. This is kind of a working man's uh, area. Oh, look at the pro. Trinity Church in Hull, England. You can uh, see the church in the background. This courtyard uh, is part of the church and they have this bazaar here every Saturday morning and the people come and display their wares. And there's uh, hundreds of people here. And when we, uh, in this church, my great grandmother and grandfather on the Macy side were married. Picture. How old are you? Television. Hey, 
Okay. Um, what level are you in school? Level. Uh, level one. What's your favorite subject in school? Reading. Reading. What do you like to read? Most of all, I can read stuff. That's good. What's your friend's name? What's my friend? What do you like to do? Uh, like play soccer. Are you pretty good? I'm okay. Are you? Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> good. Are you good? Like Are you good soccer player? Off right here. He's a soccer team. <laughs> Who wants to talk? Me. Okay, you want to talk? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm real no. ta live television. No, I'll show you in a minute. Oh, that's that What's right? your favorite thing to do in your in uh, your free time? Oh, oh play play. Here, let me, yeah, play. Yes, play. Listen about when you're back. No, I'm going to play. Yes. 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 What do you play? Yeah. Uh,